What's up guys, it's JT. Today I'm going to be doing a video talking about clear coat and how to do it, how to store it, um, what you're going to need in order to finish off your baits, waterproof them, and get them ready for the water. The clear coat I'll be talking about today is KBS Diamond. Um, you can get this on Amazon or on the KBS website. The links will be in the description. Um, you can get a quart for about $50 to $60, um, depending on the time of year, the sale, etc. So uh, I'm going to be talking to you about how to use KBS Diamond. Um, in my opinion, it's one of the easiest clear coats to do, as I have done other clear coats on this channel. Um, by far, my favorite is KBS Diamond, and I haven't made a video about it yet, so I thought I'd show that for you guys. Right before we get into the specifics of this clear coat, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Jekyll Productions. She is the original creator of this idea. She is the one who actually um, helped me find out what KBS was, and she is the one who made all the specific videos on it. I have learned everything I'm going to tell you in this video from her. I just wanted to make a video um, a little bit shorter, a little bit briefer, just for beginners um, on how to use this clear coat. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you in this video is the materials you're going to need um, in order to use this clear coat. First off, you're going to need the KBS. I've already talked about how to buy that, um, where to buy that, and how much it's going to cost. Um, but that is the liquid inside of this jar. And um, speaking of jars, you're also going to want a jar. For that, um, what I do is I go buy a, uh, like a jar of spaghetti sauce or some kind of like jam or jelly or something. Um, and then I empty out the jar, completely clean it out so that there's none of that left. And then I put the KBS, I transfer it from that little paint can that they ship it in, um, into this jar and store it in there. Now specifically for the jar, you are going to want to have a screw on lid such as this. Most spaghetti sauce jars will come with that, like Prego, it will come with that. Um, so I recommend that. That is just a way I have found to keep that clear coat sealed tightly in there and it's never failed on me yet. So the next thing you can see on here, um, this is plastic wrap. Now you're probably like, why is there plastic wrap on here? I'll actually focus it on it so you guys can see. You're like, why is there plastic wrap on there? And it's actually super important to have plastic wrap when you're using KBS. I have some down here, um, some just Glad press and seal. Um, the point of this, KBS is super sticky and when exposed to air, um, it will harden. Um, when you seal it, you do not want any of that getting on the lid so that you cannot, um, so that you cannot shut it completely. You need it completely sealed off from any oxygen and you don't want any KBS getting on the lid, um, or touching the lid and sealing that completely shut, um, so that you cannot open the jar. You need some kind of plastic wrap in between, um, to serve as a barrier between the KBS and the lid. Now, for the lid specifics, or the uh, plastic wrap specifics, I just use three different layers. Um, it's pretty sticky, but I use three different layers of um, plastic wrap, put that on there, and then screw that back on. Um, for this entire video, um, this is going to not actually be KBS, this is water, just so I can show you, because I've already clear coated these baits. Um, so that is why I can shut it without having some plastic wrap in between. Um, but when you are actually using the real KBS, you need to, every time you shut it, put three layers of plastic wrap in between um, the top of your jar and the lid. So you need to put that, put that plastic wrap on here like that and then screw that on. The next thing you're going to need is some paper clips. Um, you can get these at your local craft store or something. Um, the point of this is so that the paper clips... Um, will be what you use to hold your lure up when you're dipping it in the KBS. You are going to want to fold it like this, put that through the top eyelet, and hold your lure straight vertical. Dip it in and then pull it back out. Now, you need two paper clips per lure, unless you're using a certain kind of lure. Um, and you're going to need a drip wire for the bottom. Now, the point of this is so that when you dip the bait and pull it out, that KBS is going to tend to run towards the bottom of the bait. And um, if there's no wire there for it to run onto, it's just going to bubble up at the bottom of the bait and make this huge bubble of KBS at the bottom of the lure. And that's just not good. You don't want that. It'll mess up the way your lure swims. And uh, you just don't want that. So the point of the paper clip is to extend that bottom part of your lure 
so that the KBS has something that's not the bait to run onto and drip off of. So these are extremely important and I'll show you in that, that in action in a second. I believe the last thing you're gonna need in order to clear coat your lures using KBS is a wire um, right here. I'll pull it down so you guys can see. I have some fishing line. You need to keep that very tight. Um, so make sure your line is always tight um, or you could hang it on some kind of like a wire or something that's mounted to the wall. Just wanna make sure that you have something sturdy to hold that bait after you've dipped it and it needs to dry. All right, so that's the materials you're gonna need. Um, so now let's just go into how to dip a bait in KBS. Here, I'll take the jar um, and take the lid off. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes. This is not real KBS, but it is going to be exactly like what I show you um, with the real KBS. So what you wanna do, I'll show you with your most common baits, um, build baits um, with small bills that are facing downward. Um, what you wanna do, and I've cut these down to size, usually you'd use full size, but you take a rubber band and just like this, not a rubber band, a, uh, a paper clip. Take a paper clip just like this, put that through the eyelet, like so, and then that way you're able to hold it up just like this. All right, so once you're holding it like this, you need to have a drip wire ready. Drip wire is just like this, just like what I just showed you, except you don't curve that bottom portion. You just keep it straight. I already explained what that does and why you need it. So. Uh, with our bait like this, I'm actually going to use the other part, just like that. Um, if you guys can see, there's a little bit of glare. Uh, the KBS and dip it for you guys and show you what that's like. All you have to do, slowly dip that bait in, completely submerge it, and then slowly lift it out. That way you're not going to have any bubbles, and then at the very end, pull that lure over the KBS. And go ahead and put that drip wire on the bottom. It might take a couple tries. Just like that. And then you hang that up. Just like that. Um, so that way your bait's going to hang up and you leave that there for about 24 hours just to dry. Okay, say you have a bait with a bill such as this, such as a medium diving crankbait here. Um, what you want to do is, as you can see, I have bent the wire to hold it on um, into an L shape, just like this. Um, there's it from the top. Um, it's basically the same as what I just did. I'll bend it back out. This was how we did the last bait, just vertical. Um, but the problem with that with build baits is that the paper clip is going to touch the bill and that's going to interrupt the natural KBS leveling. Um, so what you want to do, bend it into an L shape just like that and then go ahead and dip it completely in, completely submerge it, slowly pull it out, let it drip off a little bit, put that drip wire in. Again, might take a couple tries, it's not the easiest thing. And then hang it up and it's, as you can see, it's just going to hang. Um, if it doesn't rotate like that, where there is no part of the paper clip that's touching that bill. Okay, guys, so here I have the setup for a lipless crankbait. As you can see, it is a lot different than what I just did. Um, this time there are two L shapes holding it up between the top and bottom or top and belly eyelet. Um, the point of this is um, if you do it like this, you're going to get bubbles up at the belly and the bottom. Um, especially if it's like this, um, you're just going to get, um, bubbles everywhere. So make two L shapes like so. Go ahead and dip that in. You might have to twist it a little bit to make it fit. Dip it in. Slowly, completely in. And then pull it out. Go ahead and, um, put the drip wire in. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on the line, actually, before I do that. Put that drip wire on. And then all the excess KBS is going to run off. Um, run off this wire here um, down onto the surface. Um, that way you're not going to have any bubble up at the bottom of here. 
The last exception to the rule is something with a prop or something that spins or something with joints, such as this swim bait. What to do with this? Instead of dipping it, because that'll ruin all the joints, what you want to do is paint it on. So take a paintbrush, uh, a flat build paintbrush, or not flat build, but um, flat bristles, flat head, whatever you want to call it. Um, dip that in the KBS, and then you can just go ahead and paint that on like so. You just paint the clear coat on, avoid those joints. Um, just make sure you're getting clear coat everywhere except the joints. So. Like so, just avoid those joints. So that is the last exception to the rule. If you're using something with a prop, you wanna avoid the prop. If you're um, avoiding something that spins, just avoid the part that spins and clear coat the other parts. So that is how you would clear coat something that does not follow the vertical rule for KBS. When you are done dipping your baits, the most important thing is to not let this entire jar um, that you paid a lot of money for um, stay open to air. What you need to do, like I mentioned earlier, is take your plastic wrap. I have some prepared back here. Three layers of plastic wrap. Place that on. Make sure it's tight on the top. Take your lid, place it on, and screw it on as tight as it can. That way, um, there's no way oxygen's gonna get in. No way this KBS is gonna dry up unless you have a bad container, um, which is why I suggest glass, because you'll be able to tell if it's broken. Um, there is no way any KBS is getting from here to here. So that is exactly what you want, and that is how you would clear coat a bait in KBS. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Um, I hope you learned something new. If you came here by search looking for how to use KBS, um, and you wanted a shorter video, uh, this is perfect for you. This is KBS for dummies, basically. Um, just a short video showing you the basics and how to use it without wasting your money. So... Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave me a comment. Tell me how you got to this video. Um, what do you think about KBS? Do you think there's a better clear coat than KBS? Um, just let me know your thoughts. I'd love to hear them. Um, also, if you want to help me out, please like the video. That helps my video get shared around. And then also consider subscribing, please. That really helps me out. Um, I want this channel to grow and so that I can provide more videos for you guys, more informational videos for you guys. So subscribing is probably the best way to help me out at the moment. So yeah, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next week.